Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install and quickly uh, do a quick overview of how to use the Blender EDM exporter. And what this does is this allows you to create and export your own models for DCS World, so your own 3D models and things like that. And uh, we're going to have a quick look at it today. I'm going to assume that you guys have no experience whatsoever, uh, whatsoever using Blender. Um, but for those of you who do, you probably already know how to install this thing. You just click on the this zip file right here and download it, and then you know what to do from there. But I'm going to go ahead and jump through those hoops anyway. So let's get into it. You download this zip file right here, and I'll put a link to this in the video description, by the way. This is completely free, as is Blender. But I will note, and this is very, very important, you cannot use this with any version of Blender above 3.6. You have to have something between 2.8 and 3.6 installed. And I know Blender's like on version 4.8 right now or what something, I don't know. It was 4.2, I think, the last time I checked. Anyway, um, just install 3.6, honestly. Um, that I've had pretty decent success with that. Anyway... Um, once you have this downloaded, we'll boot up Blender here, Blender 3.6. And I'm going to go here to Edit, Preferences, up here at the top. And I'm going to hit the Install button. That we're on the Add-ons page right here. And we're going to find our file that we just downloaded. We're not going to unzip this zip file. We just click on the zip file here as is and click on the Install button. Now we're going to go to the Community tab here, and then we'll filter down the add-ons to Import Export. And we can see here that the Import Export EDM Exporter um, option is available, and we can check that box, and then we have the EDM Exporter installed. And that's literally all there is to it, to install this thing. Now we'll close out of that. I'm going to press A here to select everything in the window here. And I'm going to delete it. Just hit the delete button. And we're going to talk a little bit about the basics of how to use this exporter. So we'll import something in here really quickly. We're going to import, um, I believe it was an FBX file that I had here. Yeah, here we go. We'll import that. This is a K-30 um, Russian new generation missile. Something like that, I believe. And now that we've got this in here, um, you can see this model is already scaled correctly, I do believe. Um, stuff in here is usually pretty small for like missiles and whatever. Um, but we'll notice here that it is aligned with it x-axis sort of it, it's actually the missile is actually pointing towards the negative x-axis and that's not what we want so we want of course the missile to be pointing in the right direction um, and in order to do that we're gonna have to rotate it because the forward direction um, to go from blender to um, EDM is actually the positive y-axis right here so this yellow line right here, you want to make sure, let's click on the positive Y A axis button right there. And now we're looking straight down at it. So we're going to go ahead and scroll back around here. We use the pushing down on the middle mouse button. And I will select this model. And we're going to do shift R, whoops. That's actually not what I want to do. Just press R. And then I'm going to press Z to rotate it about the Z axis. And then I'm going to press negative 9, 0. And that will rotate it 90 degrees around the Z axis to have it pointing in the Y direction here. I like to use this method rather than um, just using the rotation tool by hand because this is more accurate. You can also come over here and put in the rotation there as well. Um, we'll go ahead and zero out that X rotation. 
as if it really matters too much. But there it is. It's zeroed out now. Now we're going to change this mode right here to Quaternion. Don't ask me why we're supposed to do that, but we are. Anyway, so now that we've got the model basically where we want it um, in 3D space, we're going to go to Object up here with the model selected, of course. We're going to go to Object, Apply, and then we're going to click on All Transforms. And if you did this right, then the model will stay the same size when you actually parent it to a bone for exporting. And I'll explain that a little bit later. If you didn't do this right, then the model will actually get huge and it will sometimes even uh, rotate around the x-axis or something like that about 90 degrees. It, weird stuff happens. You know there's something wrong. Anyway, so now we're going to select our model. We're going to go to the Material tab here. It already has a material assigned, but we can create one here, or we could create one here using this plus button if we needed to, um, if it didn't already have a material assigned. So that's good. We're going to jump back up here to Object Properties. We're in Quaternion mode. That's good. And we're going to go to the EDM tab, which is now new down here. Now the first thing we're going to do, and really you, you can do this, some of this stuff in any order, but... You can just follow along with me. The, the order that I'm doing it in certainly will be correct. We're going to click on Render Node here for the render type. And we don't want two sides um, unless it's some, something flat. Um, now, we'll just leave all of this stuff right here alone in the Material section. Uh, diffuse Color Map is where things get a little bit interesting. So here we would put the names of the textures for the 3D model here if we have textures. Um, we can always go back in and add that later, but it's just you definitely have to assign a texture to it, otherwise the DCS is going to show the digital camo missing texture thing all over the, this. Um, you also can you have a normal map, which is also a bump map. Um, normal map, bump map, they're both the same thing. You can check that box if you want that, and then you can assign a name for that as well. And specular map or rough met, um, most good models will have that as well, so you can assign a name for that as well. And that's what this is going to call from to give it its, uh, its coloration and um, various different visual attributes and things like that. So, I'll go back in and edit those later, but for now, we just know that they're there. You ju literally just paste the texture name of the texture files into these um, little boxes right here, and that's all you have to do. So now I'm going to go up here, and we're going to get this model ready to actually export it. I'm going to add an armature right there. So you can see now we've got our armature in here. This thing is how we actually get um, models to export from DCS. You can only have one armature. Um, otherwise, things get really weird, and I don't think this actually works if you have more than one armature. So you have to be careful of that. Um, you can um, move armatures around for, or um, extrude them or different things, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Um, we're going to go up here to the collection, um, the scene collection window, and we're going to click the drop down menu on the armature, and then we're going to click the drop down menu here as well, and you can see here this thing that says bone. That's the important part. So now we're going to select our model, hold down control, left click on the bone, and then we're going to move our cursor over here into the display window here. And I'm going to hit Control and P. And that will bring up the parent menu. And we're going to go down here and press Bone Relative. Now the model didn't get huge all of a sudden or rotate around on us or anything like that. So we're good there. I also better go ahead and change that to Quaternion. Um, but that is our model parented to the armature, so now we can export this thing into DCS and 
or well, I say export it into DCS, we'll export it, and then we'll put that into a mod folder somewhere in DCS and assign some code to it so that DCS will actually read it. Um, but that is our model prepped for export. Now, because this is a missile model, I'll go ahead and mention this. There are um, connectors in DCS that are they're connection points basically and you can add those to a model so if I want to do that I'm add a, go up here and add an empty we're gonna do plane axis and it added those right there I'm gonna grab the move button here and we're gonna jump to the uh, the X axis here um, or well looking down the X axis and I'm gonna move those those plane axis up here somewhere just somewhere close to the surface of the model and I'm pro because this is a Russian missile I may even end up uh, well you know what I'll just I'll leave it right where it is that's fine um, so we'll again hold down control click on the bone our uh, cursor then comes over into the main window control P bone relative now, when you're adding these uh, plane axes um, and you get them in the position that you want, it, this is very important. Do not come over here and then hit apply all transforms while you have the axes selected because that will send it back to the origin. So that's important. And now we're going to come down here. There's one last thing we have to do in order for this to show up properly as a connector. We come down here to the EDM tab while, with our empty selected, and we're going to choose the connector option right there. And then we're going to call this attach point. That's the usual name for a missile attachment point in DCS. There we go. And I'll go ahead and change that to Quaternion real quick. But that is our model ready for export. So now all we have to do is go to File, Export, and then click on the EDM button. And then this window comes up, we name it what we want, and we hit Export. So I'm just going to do K30, and I'm just going to throw that probably in... Uh, That'll do. Okay, and here's something else to point out. So I just exported this, but it uh, gave me a warning. It says, export finished with warning. K30 is not a quad, tri or quad, mesh not exported. Okay, if you get that, then that's fine. You just have to do a little bit more work. So we're going to select our model again. Everything we've done already is still going to apply. But we're going to go into edit mode here, and we're going to click on faces. This button right here, we're going to jump into edit face mode. We've got all the faces selected by default, but if you accidentally unselect them, like I just did, uh, we can just hit and press the A key to select them all. And then we're going to right click and we can press triangulate faces and then just to kind of bring it back to the way it was before if we want we'll do tries to quads by right clicking again and hitting the option below it and then we'll just jump back into object mode and that should be all we have to do so now let's export this as an EDM again I think I've actually got two um, EDM exporters installed now because of the uh, because I just reinstalled it to show you guys how to do it. Anyway, um, this time you can see it exported with no warnings, so we're good to go. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you think I deserve it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.